Well, here we are on to the next episode of the Invincible Rohitra and Yasna fight the cloud using a force field and antimatter cannons. Despite many losses, Cloud manages to break through. Huh. Oh, fight the cloud. I guess that's what they're called, the cloud. Through the field, so they are forced to flee in a damaged saucer. Ooh, cup and saucer. All right, let's get back to this. Here we go. Ah. Uh, uh, <sighs> gone, was it? Oh my, I forgot to look up who was the voice actor for Yasna. Oh man, I'm such a loser. He's not here. Nope, he Richard. isn't. He took his men to the ship. They're inside now. Oh, okay. He had rather a hard landing. How do you know all this? Well, I heard him talking to them. To you. Uh, hmm. Didn't he notice I wasn't responding? Yes, he did. He said he'd be back. Okay. Let's get out. If he expected me to wait here, he's sorely mistaken. Hmm. Okay, this is kind of neat. What wow. the? It's impressive. The condor? Yes. Uh, it looked majestic in the pictures. Uh, where's the invincible? In too. I think I know where a hitcher is. It's to be but expected that we'll lose mercy invincible. as soon as you enter the cargo bay. Sure thing. So many tons of steel. Uh, indeed. They'll have to establish a connection using one of the devices on the ship. I'm sure you'll find one in the command bridge. Uh. I'll find that radio. No worries. Hmm. Let me try. Things huge. Look at the size of that ship. Ah, so that's their marvel of military technology. Uh huh. Richard wastes no time. Is it attacking already? For now, he's only released the Cyclops, as they call it. The hell is he think? <laughs> it's floating majestically, three meters above the ground. Hmm. Ah, what does it look like? Must admit that I haven't seen any pictures of the Cyclops. The Alliance tried to keep its existence a secret, so there are a lot of unsubstantiated legends about it. It's big. Bigger than a transporter. Its launchers hmm. are hidden for now. But for some reason, it gives off such an unsettling impression. Hmm. Does it make any sounds? Uh, no. It's big and quiet. Mostly. Uh, well, if only we could get hold of its blueprints. This is hardly the time, Astrogator. Yeah, it's not the time. Yes, it is. Another time. Now you need to focus on finding Rahitra. Suppress it. There's one more thing, Yasna. And this is important. I'll be able to confirm it in a while. But so far, everything indicates... What is it, Astrogator? Headquarters were right about the Invincible. It's actually flying here. If I'm reading the message correctly, they'll be here in a few days. They're looking for the missing Condor. Okay. And they have no idea of the danger. In other words, it solves the mystery of why they're coming here. They're on a rescue mission. And we were treating them like enemies. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So the Invincible is still on the way. Look at this. That's stunning. Nice planet. Should have went to that one instead of this one. Oh, let's get inside. <sighs> I'm boarding. I'll talk to you soon, Astrogator. Okay. There we go. Get to the bridge. Okay, I'll try. Okay. Ah, this thing is huge inside. This thing is insane. It feels so tiny. Oh, the uh, crew, people, mm. yeah. Uh, 
Am I gonna get elevator music? It is coming, right? It is coming. <laughs> Okay, no use in wasting time. You came after all. In vain, the elevator won't start without a card. All right, I'm on the right direction here. At least I seem to be. I can't give you mine, so... Are you sure you can't help me somehow? What are you muttering? I can't hear you clearly. Rahitra, come on, don't be silly. Over and out. Rahitra. Oh. Hmm. I need another way to get to the bridge. Oh, great. Yeah, it's a card reader. Can't do anything else with it. I need a card. Well, let's find one. These guys have cards on them. You'd think they would. Something's gotta have a card on them. Because that's what I do. Oh, oh. What's this? Hmm. Okay. this anymore. Ha ha ha. Well, look at that Rahitra. Ha ha. Whether you like it or not, I'm coming to you, Rahitra. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, it probably has a working weapon now. Hello, cat. No, you're not getting on my lap. I'm playing here. Oh, she sure listens. She's good at with listening. Okay. <sighs> not quite at the bridge yet. No. But I'm getting I'm closer. Take a look around here Much quickly. Much closer, Rahitra. Well, I'm on my way to... Wherever it is I'm going. Let's take a look here. I am going to need another card, ain't I? Oh, maybe not. What? No. Okay, how do I get out of that? Oh, okay. Well, let's just hit that then. Oh, bollocks. What is with all these security measures? Well... It must be the medical wing. Yes, it is. Surprisingly, everything's still running. Oh, Boss mm. Rahitra here. Uh, let me look around first. Oh. Uh. Hmm. hmm. Nothing important, I'm guessing. Oh, 
Oh. Ah, bingo. This one should do the trick. I just hope I can make it before a hitra attacks with that bloody cyclops. Well, if he hasn't already. Just looking around a little here. Oh. Cat. Doing cat things. I didn't talk to you, cat. <sighs> huh. Okay, okay. So far, so good. Ooh, shower. She probably needs a shower by now. <sighs> we all would, wouldn't we? Someone tried to eat soap. Uh, soap? Someone tried to eat soap? That's just insane. Isn't it? Or not. Oh. They have been dead a long time. Just saying. A long time. Hmm. This soporific could be useful. Although I prefer not to have to use it. Hmm. Rehitra must have given them something to calm them down. As he did hmm. in the hideout. ship. Very tall ship. Uh-huh. Well, if you want to read it, you can pause and read it all. Me, I'm just trying to get the game finished up on this one play. But hey, whatever happens, happens. They considered even the most absurd forms of protection against a cloud. And I don't blame them. Hmm. hmm. So apparently there's hope. We can... No. Wait. The memories mm. won't come back. <sighs> so much for the hope. Yep. Okay, let's... 
Let's head up. Deliberately trying to slow me down. I didn't design these elevators, if that's what you're asking. No, that's not it. You can clearly control them, but <sighs> never mind. Hmm. The bridge. Dear Ackfield, ready to activate. Spherical thrower. Anti-protons. Rahitra! Here. Now that you're here, why don't you help me? With what? With the probes. They're over the battlefield. I do have visuals from the Cyclops here, but I can't do everything on my own. Mm. Oh, wait. Activity's increasing. They're coming. Are you helping or not? Come on, Yaster. It's about to start. I can't wait any longer. Uh, all right. Have it your way. Okay, I'm ready. What am I looking at? It'll be... Uh, number five, a long-range one. It sees the entire perimeter. Better switch to a closer one. Uh, There's the Cyclops. Great. Force field activation. I confirm. Field okay. active. The clouds within reach. I'm shooting. Hmm. The close range is dead. No wonder. It's <coughs> boiling over there. The field is shrinking. Calm down, Yasna. It will hold. Didn't hold the first time. Whoa! Oh, oh, beautiful! It's not a machine, it's the devil himself. I'm telling you! Hmm. Shit! I'm losing connection. Do you see anything? They're creating a tight formation. A cyclone. Hmm. Fucking shit! Hmm. That can't be good, right? Oh. What was that? You tell me. Can't you see anything? Probes, yeah. The mid-range is dead. How about the long range? Uh, the long range works. The cloud has stopped attacking. The Cyclops is... Huh? What is it doing? What did you see? Yasna. The cloud... one. What? You said... Don't count on the Cyclops anymore. Circus must have gone haywire. It shot down the probes. Now it's probably operating with a new goal. Like all those machines earlier. I, d I don't understand. How? This is pure madness. Hey, at least we still have the Invincible. <laughs> don't mock me. I'm not mocking you, Rahitra. They really are flying here. They'll be here in about... Just hold on for a moment. I'll find out. Hmm. 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 Where's the radio station? Or...
Well, I think that would be the radio station, right? Well, I guess it's this. Hey, um, <sighs> use the radio station to contact Novak. Whoa, how? Nope, 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 nope. How? Oh. Oh, okay. Hey, that's on D. I'm on E. Good one. Hi. Hello. I'm a little tricky. Condor, are you there? This is the commander of the IC Dragonfly unit. Ast Astrogator, this is Yasna. I managed to get to the Condor's bridge, where Hitra and I led the attack on the cloud. But the Cyclops... Failed? Worse, the Cyclops got out of control, knocked down the probes. I had a feeling it would end like this. <laughs> Do you know what Rahitra is planning now? I have no idea. Hmm. Then I need to talk to him. You, sir? Yes. Can you switch me somehow? Hmm. Yes, okay, okay. I'm switching you to the bridge. He should be able to hear you now. Done. Please talk. Hello, Condor. This is Astrogator Novik, commander of the IC Dragonfly ship. I repeat, this is Astrogator Novik to the crew of the USCA Condor cruiser. Please come in. <laughs> Could you stop with all these? Rohitra, engineer Rohitra. Among our crew, I'm the last man standing, so to speak, which I guess makes me commander. Who would have thought? In that case, I'm making an official request to join our forces. To prevent the danger that threatens both sides. Oh, enough, Novik. That's enough. I agree. Officially and all that jazz. We're already taking steps to eliminate the threat. I'd even say that your crew is working on it pretty damn actively. We stopped playing defense and took the fight to them. The cloud suffered significant losses. <laughs> Playing defense sounds a lot better than we're getting our asses kicked. Doctor, not now, please. No, it's true. Fighting against the cloud is exceptionally difficult. But any opponent can be defeated. All it takes is the right tool. Meaning what exactly? Let me remind you that we're dealing with a dispersed entity whose technological prowess is still unknown. And it has so far destabilized every machine sent its way. Even the most special. Move on. Come on, That's Dad. why I'll keep it simple this time. No electro brains, no memory, only no. pure energy. You still haven't answered me, Rahitra. Please, just tell me straight. What are you up to? I'm arming the charges. Arming what? Explosives, cluster munitions? Hydrogen. Hmm. What? The hydrogen Rahitra, bomb. Are you serious? Damn right. I won't leave all this unresolved. How many warheads do you have? 54. From 30 kilos to 100 megatons. Oh, that's pretty good. That's quite an arsenal. Over the top, I'd say. We really do have enough power. That's an understatement, Doctor. That amount of energy could rip the planet to pieces. I'm not an idiot. I won't send everything at once. I'm preparing eight smaller warheads to start with. Mm. And then we'll see. Are you sure this is a good idea, Rahitra? <sighs> Listen, Yasna, I know how it must look to you. A hot-headed guy from the Alliance who wants to use nukes. But put yourself in my shoes. I have two dozen hours tops of complete situational awareness. I'm taking action here and now based on my best judgment. I don't know what will happen later. Where will I wake up? In what condition? So I'm going to avenge my people before that happens and ensure the safety of those who survived. <laughs> they all deserve better than this. Oh, I know okay. you understand. 
You're like me. You would do anything for your crew. Hmm. Look, I understand how you feel. But you can't approach this problem in terms of revenge. We are dealing with creations of necro-evolution. Dead evolution. Or probably non-sentient ones. Taking revenge on the cloud is like... Whipping the ocean for sinking the ship? Exactly. Like Xerxes. We won't gain anything from a mindless attack. On the other hand, knowledge about these creations may turn out to be crucial in helping their victims. In helping you, Rahitra. My memory, you could... It's possible. Well, thank you. What for? I haven't done anything. <laughs> for reminding me of my mom. But as long as the cloud is a threat to others, my condition comes second. You, Rahitra, are still reasoning as though we were standing face to face with a thinking opponent. What if these <laughs> beings are not our enemy at all? Oh, good one. Are you forgetting how many of us they've already killed? I will never forget, Rahitra. So I can't help feeling that they operate without any strategic plan. They attack from one incident to another. They're non-sentient, as the doctor put it. So what, they're stupid? And that's why they can't be hostile? It's absolute nonsense. Well, it could be. Yes, sir. What do you think? They're not stupid or hostile, but rather programmed to react. To radio waves, to brain waves. How? They're breaking down communications. To thwart the exchange of information. So... They see no difference between a man and a machine? They take our brains for transmitters. That's why they're attacking us? Exactly. Wait, what species are you talking about? Dr. Yasna found various traces of conflict. Lasting for hundreds of thousands of generations. certainly competed with the local fauna. We've seen fish that evolved to sense electromagnetic fields. And underground, I found fossils of lizard-like reptiles. Some of them must have been predatory. Well, I find it hard to believe that any prehistoric reptiles would possess our level of technology, not to mention an arsenal. Well, they wouldn't have. But there were other machines here as well. Other machines? Oh, I don't buy it. It's like some robot fables. No, Rachel, these are no fables. We have gathered evidence for all this. How did these machines even get here? Who built them? Probably some alien race. Highly evolved. It all adds up if we assume they crashed on Regis III. But not even a single living organism survived the accident. Only machines were left. And then what? They started bashing in each other's tin heads? Doesn't make much sense to me. Machines don't have emotions. They don't... argue. First things first, millions of years ago, some highly advanced race sent machines to Regis III, and these were specialized homeostatic mechanisms, left with no one to command them. As an engineer, you know well how it is. A robot does what it needs to do, whether it serves someone or not. At first, they probably just repaired themselves, or built a home for their dead masters. Until something forced them to change. Exactly. Certain types of predator eat anything that moves. So I'm betting they were attacked by a local fauna. The key was that these machines had the ability to produce others as needed. To combat, say, flying reptiles, they started producing flying machines. That still doesn't explain why they started fighting among themselves. Since they already defeated the living organisms, why keep producing themselves? It makes no sense. What is a guiding principle of a homeostat? To survive. A apparently the machines pose a threat to one another. They use the same source of energy to function. A common, finite resource. Okay, but why did some flies survive this? Not something bigger and better? The way I see it, they were better. The best. In necro-evolution, the bots that used up the fewest resources won. So they miniaturized, 
or became sedentary. The former process gave rise to the cloud. The latter started this bizarre genre of, of metal structures resembling vegetation, which ruled the city. And they're still growing? No. They lost the fight for survival, and now they're just rusting remnants. Only one form survived. The flying microbots that conquered all land areas on Regis Three. So these flies were just the best adapted? To the conditions of this planet? Yes, that's how it works. So, to summarize, some alien race sent advanced robots to Regis Three. The local dinosaur-like monsters tried to eat them, so the robots produced other robots, which produced more and more robots, until they fell victim to their own overproduction. After a number of iterations and wars for resources, they spat out the murderous cloud, which took over the planet. Indeed. To put it simply... For me, the matter is perfectly clear. It makes no sense to bomb these creatures. I'll even say it's a greater danger to us... I kind of want to bomb them, though. But how else do you imagine <laughs> defeating the cloud? But that's the thing. I don't. It's invincible. Yes, sir. Do you agree? Well... This is gonna work. The attack must be all out. What are you saying, Doctor? <laughs> After a sufficiently powerful explosion, the ocean waters will begin to vaporize. Cloud cover will increase. The albedo will rise. And the resident symbionts won't be able to provide the minimum energy needed for reproduction. So yes, we can destroy the cloud. Ha! I knew it! Along with ourselves. Oh. <laughs> You don't think we can defeat them and survive? Well, maybe they should. There was that, that bit of... was a lot of talky. That's not our goal wow. Here, is it? No, it's not. <sighs> but what else could we do if not attack? Mm. We can leave this place and never come back. We have a lander. Sorry, but I'm not going anywhere. You, on the other hand, I'm surprised you didn't evacuate already. Well, I had to make sure you won't do something you'll deeply regret. Let's drop it, all right? Further discussion is pointless. The charges are almost ready. Rehitra, for fuck's sake, be reasonable! You yeah. won't stand down, will you? An escalatory solution won't work. We'll only needlessly draw the cloud's attention. Stop arguing. But, Doctor... No, Astrogator. You can't always get your way. And you, Rehitra? Blow up this cloud yourself yeah. and the entire planet. He's not leaving, want. so he Just can do what he wants. Away first. Can you at least do that for me? Yes, I'll wait. Hmm. I've prepared Hopper for departure, but there's still a matter of access to the landing pad on the back. Novik, how do you know about our landing pad? Well, you know what they say? Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Astrogator likes big ships. Right. Anyway, someone has to break the force field and open the dome. The field automatically deactivates when the dome is opened. It's the same switch on the control station. All right. Sounds simple enough. Hmm. In the dome above the landing pad. Sure. Oh, okay, go. got it. Everything's ready, Astrogator. Copy that. Hopper is on its way. Good luck, Rehitra. Thanks. I'm gonna need it. Have a yeah, safe you'll flight, Yasna. You Commonwealth ain't all that bad. Well, thank you. <laughs> I had a feeling he didn't want to leave and was not gonna leave, so I'm leaving. Yes, sir. Can you hear me? Yes. Maybe. We've reconnected. Great. Hopper is just landing. Okay. I can still make it in time. You don't think Rehitra will start firing without warning, do you? I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. 
Let's Are shut you ready? that door. I'll just close the hatch and... And what? Hmm. There's nothing. I'm gonna buckle up now. That was the smartest move you could ever do. Ready. I made it. Copy that. I'm starting the engines. Three, two, one. And where you going? I'd like to see the planet blow up, please. Oh no, Rohitra started the attack. Shit, Shit right. radiation's rising rapidly. EM field two, we might get cut off. I repeat, we might get cut off. Oh, good. Um, what? What? Hello? That's it? That's how the game ended, my dear? You flew up on your ship? Well, I was flying up to the ship and then it said... Is that how the game ends? Yeah. That's how the game ends? Yeah. Uh, asking the wife, that's how the game ends? Uh, which way did you do? What did you do? I let Rohitra blow up the planet pretty well. Because yeah. he wasn't going to leave. I decided to leave. Yeah, I left too. Oh, that's it. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's not that good. I kind of want to play again. I want to play it again too now. The last part of it at least. To maybe stay. Oh. Okay, that makes me sad. Yep. I was expecting more to... Uh, okay, that's no way to end a game, by the way. Nope. Hmm. Kind of upset. So, you might see me play it again. Oh, darn, I just seen Yasna's name. Who she, who is playing her. Darn it. I didn't catch it. It's in the credits there, if you want to know who Yasna is. Great voice. Um, huh. Well, I'm kind of annoyed. Kind of annoyed. There we go. Um, um, okay. It, it can be replayed from that point on. Okay, took me 6 hours, 13 minutes, and 45 seconds to play this game. Okay, I will come back to this and play the ending different in another episode. Alright, up to there. Thanks for watching.